Welcome to this video on colour coding your emails automatically in Microsoft Outlook. So this might be useful for you if you just want a bit more visibility on what is coming through into your inbox on a quick glance. So you can differentiate between emails that have been sent directly to you, emails that have been you've been copied in on and things like that. And rather than having to go and scan through all of them, you can colour code some of them automatically so that they pop out to you. And hopefully that will help with your productivity. So let's have a look how to set this up and do this. So just a caveat here, I'm on the new Outlook on a Windows device on the application. And when I do, what I'm gonna do to set up this colour coding is go to the view option and go to view settings. So when I do, I get a pop-up box and what I want is conditional formatting. That's the option I want. Now there's nothing there at the moment and I'm just gonna make this box a little bigger. So I'm gonna create a new conditional formatting rule. Now I need to name my rule something that makes sense because if I wanna edit this or change this in the future, um, let's call it CC, so I'm CC'd into an email because these might not be as important or maybe there might be just quick reading opportunities so that can be kept up to date, but maybe there's no actions from it. So these might be something I want to pick up first because they're quick wins um, and then move along. So let's call it CC and then I need to select a condition. So you can see I've got a number of options here, not that many, so there's not, you can't scroll. So you can define conditional format in when it's from a certain person. So if it's from your line manager and you want it to really pop out or from one of your senior team, then you can do a from. So my name is on the to or CC line. I'm on the to line. I'm not on the to line. I'm on the CC line. And then also you can do it by subject. So if you're working on a project and people are sending you emails with a project name, then you can do that piece as well to highlight a specific project that you're working on. So again, it pops out within your inbox. So I'm going to say I'm on the CC line. You can add multiple conditions to the same one. So you can see it does reduce it down, obviously, because it just it's clever. So it knows that you're not going to need one of those, but you can do a CC from a certain person or CC from a project or something, anything like that. I'm just going to click the cross to get rid of that one. And then I'm going to choose my color. So I just need to select my font color and let's pop this in green and click on OK. And I'm going to save that. So you can see I've got a CC option in there. I've got a pencil to edit and I've got a rubbish bin to get rid of it if I want to stop that from happening. And obviously I can go in and create as many as I need to. But let's come out of that and just have a little look down. Like at the moment, there you go. You can see one, I'm already on the CC line there. So that one is in green. But let me just send myself a nice little email so that you can see this happening. I've sent myself an email, I just need to wait a second for it to come through. And there you can see it's come through at the bottom. It's in green. It pops out within my inbox. So I can see exactly what that looks like. So really simple, really easy, really quick to do, but may help you be more productive within Microsoft Outlook. Don't forget to check out the rest of the tips on this channel on Outlook and many, many other applications. They will help you be more productive when you're using these applications for work or for home. Please do like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.